My name is Annette Balkena. I'm 15. I will be 16 in August. I am an actress at the end of the year. I will um, be participating in a Netflix role, a role for a Netflix show. There are seven main roles and I'm one of the main seven about the seven deadly sins and one of each seven girl is uh, one of the sins. I'm Envy. So, yes, and I'm I'm actually excited to uh, film it. It seems interesting. Every single main girl. Uh, I don't know if this is a spoiler. I don't think it's a spoiler. I think it's okay. Every every one of the the seven girls will kill someone in a different way, and then we all end up in a psych ward in the uh, show where I had the British accent. My sister, my twin sister in that movie, is the girl that I'm going to kill in this movie. Which I think was such a weird coincidence because when uh, we went to speak with the director, they were like, I heard that you know this girl. And I was like, oh yes, I played her twin sister a couple years ago. And she was like, yes, like this is the girl that you will kill in this uh, this show. Which was so so interesting to think about. I don't know, everyone is uh, such a small world, you know. Yes. Okay, so um, I was living in Dubai. And I was uh, driving, I wasn't driving, but I was in the car and my dad was driving and there was an ad on the radio for a acting program and I ended up getting into the acting program and I guess it kind of started from there. Acting program is one week and it kind of starts with you kind of learn monologues and scenes with um, other kids, but older, but younger than you. You're put into age categories and then you get uh assign the scene and you work on that scene for the rest of the week and then at the very end of the week you perform it in front of all the kids families and parents and um agents and managers as well and then if they like you um they will give you a call back i received like multiple callbacks so me and my family kind of it was fun to go and speak with everyone at the different schools I've been to I've been with people of many different with different characters I've been to schools where you know some people are shy some people are this so I think when I um act a certain character I try to think of a person I've met before um I was actually one time I did a casting audition. I I met a girl before who reminded me a lot of the character I was supposed to play. So I decided to just pretend like I was her. I kind of got a feel of what she was like and I got the I got the role. One of my biggest living like where to live goals in life is to live on uh, a farm kind of pretty far from the city. I just want to live on a farm and I want to live in a little cottage with a big field and I want to have a bunch of cats and I want to have a pig. I don't know if the pig will happen, but I even multiple pigs. The best friend that I'm seeing today, she uh, her grandparents live in a farm and ever since we've been like 10, 11, uh, she brings me along every summer to go and we stay there for a couple nights and it's one of my favorite things in the world it's four hours from here Uh, they have potatoes in the backyard the grandparents so we for hours pick these potatoes and in the very end everyone goes down to the lake and we all go for a swim because we've been picking potatoes in the sun for like hours and then we go and we rinse everything off and everyone goes for a swim in like the lake i think my whole life i've been surrounded by city a lot even now currently i'm living kind of in um the city i live in old riga um but i i think it's so much more peaceful and i think it kind of helps you to uh for forget uh, not forget but not think so much about everything that's going on because i think now if you're in the city um you're at home and you you go outside and there's so much people and transport and everything is always happening so I'm very scared of um, people breaking in so I think if I was I can't live alone I know this for a fact I cannot live alone because I will be scared of people breaking in all the time so I will need uh, I will need someone to live with me either a friend or a partner or something but yeah so I would also maybe want to, before I live in the cottage, to live uh, in a van. You know those people that live in the vans? I would maybe want to do that, but again, I would be scared I would get robbed in the van.
Um, is it like deeper question? Yes. Um, that's it. I'm not good enough. And then every time I even spoke to somebody, I just thought I was so stupid. Every time I spoke to someone, I just thought I'm so stupid. The stuff I'm saying is so stupid. And then I started picking on myself for very small things. Um, the way I was sitting, uh, the way I picked something up, uh, the smallest things. I was like, that's stupid. You look stupid. You look dumb while you do that. Um, and then I became very hard on myself, which uh, made it even harder. And then, of course, there is uh, school. You have to interact with people every day. There's uh, a lot of uh, work from school. And then uh, you can fall behind and that gets hard as well. So that's another thing on top. And I got mad at myself because I was thinking you are you're so ungrateful. You can't even get up to um clean your room like you're uh I was very ashamed of myself and everything kept piling up on on top and on top and on top and uh I think it was um really difficult it was really hard to get myself up and I had um a moment where I realized I was living so bad because of the situation I was making for myself I was very grateful for the family I have the house I have the food I have I was very grateful and um it was really hard but I kind of took a moment and I realized that it was very that I deserved to live better and I deserved to treat myself better even if I didn't believe that I deserved it um I think it's so interesting to watch shows or to read books from people that uh, from from your age perspective because uh, I was watching Skins and there was um, so much um, I could relate to so much um, and I think uh, it was really uh, important but it had very negative effect so I uh, want to major in I want to continue acting but still major in criminology um, because criminology is very interesting to me and it has been for a very uh, long time so I would want to balance both.